Hello and welcome to the Lake Mead and Hoover Dam update for April 2024. The water level at the Lake Mead Reservoir is currently 1,073 feet 7 inches above mean sea level. That's a decrease of 2 feet 7 inches from our last update. And that's just the beginning of the water level declines. Experts are predicting the water level to decline for the rest of the year. The current water level is 124 feet above minimum power pool and 146 feet below full pool. Hello and welcome to Time Bomb. We have a lot to cover in today's episode, beginning with the Lake Mead water level statistics. Next, we'll look at the latest water level projections from the Bureau of Reclamation. Why are they predicting water levels to decline for the rest of the year? Then we will shift our focus to Lake Powell, where engineers recently discovered major problems in the pipes that release water downstream to Lake Mead. These damaged pipes may limit how much water is released from Lake Powell. Will that cause Lake Mead's water level to decline even further? Well, you're about to find out. Hey, do me a solid. Hit that like button. Tell me off in the comments section. Leave me a tip. This is Time Bomb. Let's get started. This is a chart of Lake Mead's water level for the 2024 water year that began on October 1st, 2023. Lake Mead began the water year at an elevation of 1,065 feet, 10 inches. The water level declined slightly in October and November before starting to increase in December. On March 4th, the water level reached a three-year high of 1,076 feet, 7 inches. Since then, the water elevation has been on a pretty steady decline. Despite the water level gains throughout the winter season, the current elevation of 1,073 feet 7 inches is still 76 feet below the 1,150-foot average for this time of year. The highest water level at Lake Mead was recorded on July 24, 1983 at 1,225 feet. The record low water elevation was set on July 28, 2022, when the water level declined to just 1,040 feet 7 inches. Lake Mead's full pool capacity is 28.2 million acre feet. The average capacity for this date is 17.7 million acre feet. And the current capacity of the Lake Mead Reservoir is 9,489,000 acre feet. The record low was set in July of 2022 when the capacity dropped to 7,018,000 acre feet. Even with a terrific start to the water year, the Lake Mead Reservoir is only at 36.33% of the full pool capacity. In my last Lake Mead update, and I'll put a link to that at the end of this video, I spoke about the relationship between Hoover Dam's reservoir, Lake Mead, and the reservoir just upstream, Lake Powell. These two bodies of water are managed hand in hand. So when we look at the water levels of Lake Mead, I think it's best practice to also look at water levels at Lake Powell. This is a chart of Lake Powell's water level for the 2024 water year. As you can see, the water level has been on a pretty steady decline since October. So while water levels are increasing at Lake Mead, it was doing so at the expense of water levels at Lake Powell. But now things have changed. Water levels at Lake Powell are still declining, but so are water levels at Lake Mead. So let's compare the performance of both reservoirs. Lake Mead has gained 618,000 acre feet so far this water year. Lake Powell, on the other hand, has lost 1,122,000 acre feet during the same period of time. Combined, the two largest reservoirs in America have lost a combined total of 510,000 acre feet since October 1st, 2023. Now to get an even bigger picture of how the Colorado River is doing, we will take a look at all of the major reservoirs on the Colorado River to see how the entire system is performing. This is a chart of the entire Colorado River storage system for the 2024 water year. The storage capacity fell sharply from October until January 20th. Then several major storms added to the capacity of several reservoirs, incre increasing total storage to a peak in mid-February before starting to decline again. Today, the capacity is still declining. So far this water year, the Colorado River has lost a total of 823,000 acre feet of water. 
Now we do have a very healthy snowpack waiting up in the mountains in the Colorado River Basin. That snow will melt over the next several weeks and hopefully start to increase water levels in the reservoirs. Unfortunately, the Bureau of Reclamation disagrees. In the latest water level predictions report, they expect water levels at Lake Mead to continue to decline for the rest of the year. Let's take a look at that report. Every month, the Bureau of Reclamation releases a report called the 24-Month Study Report. Included in this report is a prediction of water levels at Lake Mead. This is a chart of the water level predictions for Lake Mead from the most recent report. Let me add in a line to show the current water level. As you can see, Reclamation is predicting the water level to decline to the 1,060-foot level later this summer and to fall below that 1,060-foot level in early winter. This is definitely not good news. Even though everyone is talking about how great the winter season was and how healthy the snowpack is, Reclamation is predicting below average inflows for the next several months. In April, they expect inflows to Lake Powell of 700,000 acre feet. That's just 78% of average. Through July, inflows are forecasted to be 5.7 million acre feet, but that's just 89% of average. And for the entire 2024 water year, they predict inflows to Lake Powell to be 8,390,000 acre feet, or just 87% of the historical average. Now I've reached out to the Bureau of Reclamation for comment on this, on why they're predicting below average inflows when we have an above average snowpack, but so far, the only response I've received is no comment. <laughs> of course, I'll keep pushing to find the answer. But for now, let's go check on what's up with those broken outflow pipes at the Glen Canyon Dam. In last week's episode of Time Bomb, we spoke about how engineers have discovered damage to the pipes that released water from Lake Powell. In the report, engineers recommend not using the river outlet works to release water from Lake Powell. If they do need to release water through the outlet works, they need to do so at lower volumes to prevent further damaging the pipes. You see, during normal operations, the only way to release water from Lake Powell is through the hydropower plant or the river outlet works. Yes, there is also the spillways, but these can only be used when Lake Powell is near full pool capacity, and that is definitely not the case today. Nearly all of the water released from Lake Powell is through the Glen Canyon Dam's hydropower plant. And thankfully, the damaged outlet pipes do not impact the ability to release water from that power plant. The river outlet works is used for the yearly high flow experiments and to release water when Lake Powell's water level declines below the intakes for the hydropower plant. The problem is, with the outlet works being damaged, they will need time to analyze and plan on how to remediate and correct the issue. In the meantime, how will this impact outflows from the Glen Canyon Dam? With the current water levels, we can rely on releases from the hydropower plant to deliver water to the lower basin states. However, if the water level declines much further, the ability to release water from the hydro plant will be jeopardized, leaving the Glen Canyon Dam without the ability to release water at all. The fact is, the Glen Canyon Dam is in big trouble and it could impact the ability to deliver water to 30 million Americans who rely on the Colorado River for their drinking water. Hey, that's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another episode next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.